Hello and welcome back to my podcast Just One Question. This is your host Neelakshi Sengupta and we have with us today our much celebrated actor Shanas Patel. Today I want to ask her about her inner journey as an actor. How does she work on a character, what's her style and of course the genre she enjoys the most. The mic is all your Shanas. Take it away. I think I veer more as a genre first to drama. Uh definitely towards realism. Uh-huh. And by realism I mean a uh, a uh, a character that I can understand. Okay. Even however alien she may be to my world, but that I can actually bite my teeth into. But you know, honestly that's the work I've always done. So I've not really uh worked much out of my comfort zone. Um I've not been asked to do it. So it it doesn't mean that tomorrow I may get a very abstract text and still be able to you know navigate it and find my way around it because I love reading such texts. Uh I don't sing so I've never done any musicals. Um I love comedy. Okay. Um I just love the ease of doing a comedy you know you go to the theater and you're just having fun before the show begins and then you're having fun in the show it's just it's it's just easy it's light it doesn't it's not though comedy can be very very challenging oh yeah you know the 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 emotional drain that a drama does uh you don't have that in in comedy so for every you know difficult play one likes to do a comedy to balance it out um i've never done a full length solo uh i've done short you know 10 minute solo pieces uh, 15 minute solo pieces mm that's also really exciting to do um yeah i'm i'm quite unfortunately quite now when i'm saying it seem very uh, <laughs> you know straight and narrow but i'm really a believer in the word i'm i i love the spoken word i love uh being able to dissect a sentence and to understand why the comma was placed where it was and why the full stop is where it is um and i i just feel that when you know it's really a beautifully written play you can find so many clues in that in terms of how do you play your character that's really interesting and you also with every show you discover new things in the text that you hadn't even realized before and i love that i love the fact that you know a great piece of writing keeps you constantly finding something else with you know every rehearsal as you move forward as maybe a year after the show is open suddenly something will click and say oh my god now i understand this reference in act 3 is referring you know there's a parallel line of that in act 1 and you know things like that or you know very subtle symbolism i love that that's i think what uh is something that i really enjoy that seems like a lot of fun yes coming to think of it when you get to discover the layers and peel them off one by one yeah that's a lot of fun but having said that is there still a specific character you think you'd enjoy working with i don't think there's any one specific character i think i would love to do a shakespeare um i've never done it professionally i mean lady macbeth for me would be like <laughs> the ultimate uh uh-huh. but um you know any any role that's meaty and that's again got thousand and one layers to peel off and dis- and discover anything that pushes the envelope pushes you out completely out of you know uh, into a world that you've never experienced before a kind of person that you've never experienced before um maybe set in another time in another i don't know another universe uh those are the things that really excite you you know because now i mean the usual if it's set in bombay and it's, a, it's like a parsi character or it's set in india somewhere and it's similar to me what am i how am i being pushed you know yep i get that i recently did a play called iron where i was playing you know it's again a a, a scottish play um set in a prison and you know where a mother meets her 
the mother is in prison and uh, the daughter comes to meet her after a long, uh, I think 16, 17 years. And it's just their conversation. Oh, okay. And the play is two and a half hours long and it's so hard, but it's so fantastic because it's so hard. Mm. And that's the kind of work that you want to do, you know, where you are being pushed, uh, you, where you've got a great director in the room who's pushing you to, you know, discover new things about yourself that you didn't even know you had within you. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of work we all strive for, I think. I know what you're saying. After a point, you do need those creative challenges, no? That bring in the excitement to move ahead. But tell me, do you draw a lot from your personal space as well? Like, does whatever is happening in your personal space gets reflected on the character you're playing? I personally don't like to bring my personal shit into the space. <laughs> um, whether I am unwell or whether I have something, somebody in my family is unwell or any personal pressures, I just don't bring it into the theatre. Once I'm on stage, at least for those two hours, I can forget everything. And uh, most of us, I think, who are uh, been doing this for a long period of time, believe in this theory. Uh -huh. And I tell you, I have seen people performing when their parent has died the previous day. Uh, I've seen someone perf coming on performing after doing the Uthamna ceremony for his wife, taking a scooter and coming to the theatre and doing the show. That is the way I've been brought up by my family. I was born with my dad on stage and my mom delivered me. So I think I've come from that world that believes that, no, you, you don't bring your personal stuff. Okay. In fact, I get really pissed off when actors start saying I've got a headache and it's excuses. Someone's paid to watch a show, I have to give my 100% and I will enjoy it for those two hours. After those two hours, I go back to my life. So yeah, I think, uh, but the, 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 these are the, the main variables for me, I think. That says such a lot about your commitment towards theatre, Shanaz. I do hope our listeners got to add a little more to their lives from all that you shared. I did, for sure. And I'll be back for more very soon. And on that note, I shall take your leave now. This is Nilakshi Sengupta, signing off from just one question. Mm -hmm.